Good morning. Craig Howard here again this morning and uh, a little windy here this morning. Uh, a little bit on the cool side and uh, but it's still it's still pretty. It's still nice. Uh, I'm going to do something this morning that is definitely outside of my wheelhouse. Uh, John Kreitz invited us to go golfing. Now anybody that knows me knows that I'm no golfer. Uh, I don't know what they call what I do. I, I don't think golfing is fair. They mow the grass where everybody else golfs and they don't mow it where I golf. So I just don't do it very often. But anyhow, John invited us to go golfing. So he'll be here to pick us up before long. Uh, it's early. The sun's just coming up. But we'll be headed out. We'll see how it goes. But I'm sure it will be a humbling experience. Um, those of you that know anything about golf know that uh, a 78 is a pretty good shot. John is 78 and just did 18 holes, did seven shot 78 on 18 holes when he was 78 years old. Um, I, <laughs> I'm not going to get anywhere close to that. But anyhow, we're going to have a good time. But you know, being humbled isn't such a bad thing every so often. The Bible tells us in James chapter 4, verse 6, it says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Uh, God isn't impressed with proud people. God isn't impressed with people that think they're all that. Uh, in fact, over in James chapter 4, verse 10, it says, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Uh, you know, those two verses kind of give us warning to check our attitude every once in a while. Uh, proud spirit, over and over and over again in Scripture, God says he doesn't like that, he resists that. And the reason I think that I think the reason that is is because everything that we have, everything that we are, God gave us. So where do we get off thinking we're all that? If God gave us the gifts and the abilities and the talents to do the things and to have the things that we have and, and to accomplish the things that we accomplish, where do we get off thinking we're something special because we accomplished it? Because we did it, you know? So God says, you know, just put your proud attitude away. And then he comes along and he says, but you know, somebody that's humble, and a tr the best definition I ever heard of humble is somebody that realizes they're no better than and no worse than anybody else. We're all created in God's, uh, in God's image. We're all part of God's creation. And so for me to get off thinking, you know, that I'm somehow something that's all that, it's just, it's just not cool. So God says, resist being proud. He resists the proud. I don't like the, even, the, even the sound of that, that God's going to resist me, that God's going to kind of hold me off at arm's length, and that he's going to push me away. Well, God says, forget about that. But he said, if you're humble, then I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to elevate you. I'm going to make you something more than maybe what other people see in you. One of the humblest people I was ever around in my life, and I was only ever around him one time, and I don't mean to sound like I'm name dropping because I don't know him, but I was around him one time and just got to see him interact with other people, and that was Billy Graham. If there was ever a bigger name in this country, I don't know who it was, but with all of Billy Graham's success, with all of the things that he accomplished in life, he never went around bragging or talking about, look at me, look at how special I am. He gave all the praise and the glory and the credit to God. So I want you to think about that today as you go through your day. I'm going to get humbled. <laughs> out on the golf course today um, but uh, you know what that's not necessarily a bad thing so as you go through this day give God glory for everything that you accomplish be humble about it and uh, just praise him for the opportunity to do the things that you're going to have the opportunity to do I hope you have a great day today hope your day is filled with all sorts of wonderful blessings and uh, I hope I get through this <laughs> through this round of golf without embarrassing John too bad. Have a great day. God bless.